Hey everyone, welcome to Mad Backyard. Today I'm gonna to show you one of the easiest and fastest ways that I've found to clean off the grates on my pit boss using no wire bristles and no burn off. I love cooking on my pit boss, but ever since I started using pellet grills, I've struggled to find a fast and easy way to clean the grates. If you come from the world of gas grilling, you know how easy it is to just crank up the burners, let the gas grill run at 600 degrees for a few minutes, and then scrape off all the remaining charred bits of food from the grates. This is called a burn off and you're literally just burning off all the remaining grease and charred bits of food to clean your grates and get ready to cook. But it's really difficult to do a burn off like this on a pellet grill. In fact, it's almost impossible. Even if you have the direct heat option like we do on our pit boss where we can open up the flame broiler in the center and let those direct flames come up, it's only gonna provide that really, really hot direct heat in the center. We can brush off the grease and everything in that area there, but unless we stop and we move all the grates around to try to burn off every single piece, it's really hard to recreate what we're able to do on a gas grill on a pellet grill. So because the pit boss doesn't really get completely hot enough from left to right to really clean all the grates with a burn off, we end up just pushing a lot of grease around and not really cleaning anything. Not to mention we waste a lot of pellet fuel trying to get up to those temperatures and I'd much rather save all those pellets for smoking my food. The second issue I've run into is trying to figure out the best brush to use to clean these pit boss grates. Wire bristled brushes like this one can actually be very dangerous. If one of these gets loose, and I don't care how good of a brush it is, one of these will get loose over time if you use it long enough. If one of these gets loose and uh, sticks to your food and somebody accidentally ingests it, it can cause some serious harm. A quick Google search will show you just how serious this can be if one of these wire bristles gets ingested and travels through your digestive system. It can cause bleeding, internal damage, and it can actually be very hard for doctors to diagnose exactly what's going on if no one's aware that that's what's happened. So so in my opinion, it's best to just stay away from these types of brushes altogether. So I'm sure you've seen these bristle-free brushes in stores or online. They use wound steel rather than wire bristles, making them safer to use, but unfortunately, they don't always clean as well. They work decent enough on straight vertical grates where you can line up these rings of uh, steel wire in between the grates, but they don't work as well on a crosshatch style grate like this one on my Pit Boss model. So while this type of brush is safer to use, it's just not gonna work for us on our Pit Boss. So what we really need is a fast, easy, consistent way to clean our Pit Boss grates at a low temperature without using wire bristles. So after doing some more research, I finally came across what is now my newest favorite brush to use on my Pit Boss, and it's this one, and it's called the Barbecue Daddy. If you're a fan of the show Shark Tank, you've probably heard of the kitchen sponge known as the Scrub Daddy. It's one of their best-selling products of all time on the show, and the Barbecue Daddy is actually made by the same company. What I like about it is that it's bristle-free and it is safe to use on the porcelain grates of our Pit Boss. But the best part is you can clean at lower temperatures using just a little bit of water to steam clean your grates. This creates what I like to call a pseudo burn-off effect at lower temperatures, loosening up the grease and dried on bits of food to give you the same effect you would get from a true high heat burn-off. So let me show you how it works. Last night we made a bunch of smoked barbecue chicken on our pit boss and I did nothing to clean the grates afterwards. I just shut it down and went to bed. And you can see we've got some fat, seasoning, sauce, all stuck and dried on the grates. Now, normally I would have come out and cleaned these grates right after eating last night, but I wanted to make this video today to show you how it's done. So I'm gonna start up the pit boss, let it run through its startup cycle, and set it to 325 degrees. The way the barbecue daddy works is by dipping the head in a little bit of water to steam clean your grates. The cool thing is like the scrub daddy, colder water makes the head firmer while warmer water softens it up. I've actually found ice water works the best, so I filled up a small bucket to use here on our pit boss. So let's say you've been cooking a bunch of food on your pit boss at 250, 270 degrees. After you remove the food from the pit boss, turn the temperature up to either 300 or 325. Barbecue Daddy recommends going no higher than 350 so that you don't damage the head of the brush here. Once you're up to 325 and you've got your bucket of ice water ready, you're ready to clean the grates. Once you're ready to clean, you're gonna submerge the head of the Barbecue Daddy in the ice water, let it absorb a little bit of the cold water and then bring it out. I like to let a good amount of water drain so that not too much is dripping down on our flame broiler. Just enough to get it wet. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up our pit boss. We've got it at 325 degrees. And we're just gonna gently scrub on this first grate here. You can 
can see that steam starting to clean the top of our grates and get all that gunk off of there. And we're going to come back and get a little more water. Drain it out again. And we'll come over to the other grate and do this. You can see the nice thing is you can really get down in the crevices of these crosshatch style grates and get all those little bits of food using the corner of the barbecue daddy. And then if you want to, you can flip the uh, grates over and do the other side if needed. You'll see some water dripping down on the flame broiler. That's fine. It's all going to evaporate within a few minutes. So we're just going to do this side so we can compare the left and right side after this dries. You'll be able to see how quickly we got these grates pretty clean. It's not a deep clean. You may need to still remove these and scrub them with some good old fashioned soap and water and a sponge every now and then. But to at least get you cooking and at least get your grates clean without needing to use uh, wire bristled brushes and without uh, worrying about ruining uh, the porcelain coating on your grill grates, I think this is a really good solution uh, for pit boss grill grates when you're trying to clean before or after a cook. So we're gonna let this dry off for a minute and then we'll take a look at how it's looking. Once you're finished cleaning the grates, you can turn off the pit boss, let it run through the shutdown cycle, unplug it, and you'll be ready for the next cook. When you're done cleaning, you can remove the head and rinse it underwater in the kitchen sink, or even throw it in the top rack of the dishwasher to clean. You can replace the cleaning head on the barbecue daddy once it starts to really break down. But I've been using this one for a few months and it's still in great shape, so I'm thinking one head will likely get you through a whole season, which isn't bad. So the barbecue daddy really works for me and it's one of my newest favorite tools to use on my pit boss. I'll put a link to it down in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. And it's what I use to clean the grates on my pit boss without having to do any type of burn off and without having to worry about wire bristles. And make sure to check out part two of this video where we'll show you how to clean the rest of your pit boss, including that gunked up flame broiler, fast and easy. As soon as that video is ready, I'll put a link to it right here. Thanks for watching.